All right, this is about my fourth time trying this video. Uh, phone kept shutting off, son interrupted me one time. He's getting a bath now so I can give you a little quick word. Uh, I was driving down the road the other day and I had seen uh, a license plate that said cake. And I was like, man, there's gotta be something we can use with that. I know there is, God, give it to me. Christian attitude's kicking everyone. But you gotta think, we as Christians have really judgmental attitudes, we do. Um, Sometimes we as Christians look at people and be like, that can't be a man of God or a woman of God. There's no way. Or oh, that kid, that person's kid acts like, like a demon. There's no way they're following God. Um, I know I'm making you probably hungry talking about cake, but, you know, if we eat our cake and we feel humble afterwards, why don't we put that humbleness also into Jesus? Um, a lot of it's because of fear, which I've spoke about before, false evidence appearing real. Uh, that's the biggest reason why uh, fear is the devil it really is and um, if it's not then why in first Peter chapter 4 verse 8 there is no fear in love there's no fear in love guys right there <laughs> uh, fear can lead a lot of things what we need is if you know when you drive your car you got a piston that turns like this in your motor and when it comes up to here, it combusts. It has, it has an explosion. It combusts. We need to put that combustion into our lives. Because in Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 29, Is not my word like as fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock into pieces? Maybe you're... Um, you know, stuck in park with your Christianity. And you need to hit the pedal to the metal. You need to go. Maybe you're stuck in neutral. Hopefully it ain't reverse, or we need to do a major prayer for you if it's in reverse. Maybe you're stuck in first gear. We need to punch it in overdrive. We need to hit the nitrous. We need to be like a bottle rocket. We light and boom. That's combustion also. I, that it, it's happening whether you realize now there is a revival in this world I, there's more evil yes there is but there is a lot of people coming back to Christ in 2020 and uh, you got to think he brings the most unlikely candidates to do his work but they've also submitted to him also though you got to think David um, he uh, when he became king one of his soldiers he loved the way that his um, one of his soldiers' wives looked, and he had taken him for his own, and then he didn't want to deal with the consequence, so he had him murdered. That's adultery and murder all <laughs> in one one sin he did. He did two. Um, and then you got to think, like, God used Moses to do the Ten Commandments, and he was a stutterer. He was very slow of speech, like the Bible says. And Noah liked to drink. He uses messed up people like you and I. He does. There's a lot of uh, people he uses. And he'll keep using you if you submit. So we got to take it out of where we're at. From reverse, neutral, park, first gear. We need to punch it. We need to punch it in overdrive. We need to get going. We need to put a spark in us. He's already put a spark in you but he's waiting for you to reignite it he's waiting for you to come back to him and it's hard for people right now because you see the things on the news that uh christians are getting ridiculed really badly um i remember i'd, I'd heard of a um a guy in uh, minnesota that not a lot of people are talking about that yeah, he had a Trump supporter out there, too. That may have been one of the reasons also he got shot. But he was also out there preaching God, and a dude had shot him in the back of the head. And um, I don't remember his name right off the top of my head. But if you look it up, there is a guy that I think it was last month that had happened. And, and nobody's gave any – I mean, it, it, it may have been just because he was supporting Trump. But the fact of the matter is he was talking about God, though. And um, – you see people protest in the street that we're all the Judases. We are. I, I've seen people preaching to the cops, saying that you guys are Judas. You've betrayed us. 
there's a lot of people attacking Christians, man. And then if you are walking that, you're being attacked hardcore by the devil because he does not want you to continue to submit to the Lord. He wants you to submit to him. I know it's hard, man. You know, you, you turn on the news, you turn your phone on, and there's so many things that make us remind us of this world. Just, uh, you don't have to give it all up. I mean, if it's really bad, yes, you probably do. But, um, you know, you, you need to give yourself to God. He goes, God, your marriage, your children, your ministry. And um, you got to find an even balance of that. Most of us, man, we just flip open our Bible app. We read the three sentences we get. There you go, God, I submitted to you. But you got to think, do those three sentences only take you about 35 seconds to read? Um, maybe me. I, I'm a fast reader, but um, you got to give more time than that. you got to give. I'm not saying give your whole 24-hour day. And if you do, then more power to you. But hopefully you're single if you're giving 24 hours a day. Because then you're abandoning your wife and your children or your husband and your children, depending on whatever sex you are. Uh, find that balance. Find that balance, and God will continue to work miracles through your life. Just like today, I was told my mom, I think it was about 10 years ago, she was diagnosed with emphysema, which is an incurable lung disease from smoking cigarettes. And, uh, she, by the power of God, was healed. She went to a woman's retreat through the church, and they were doing so many prayers, healing, everything. And, you know, that right there proves to you God works, man. They were praying so much. And then she goes to her doctor appointment today, just called me an hour ago, and I was in tears, like, so, so happy that her emphysema is healed. Now they just say it's just bronchitis. This, this is amazing documentation, literally, because emphysema does not heal. That right there should give you some goosebumps. And if you're dealing with something, God can heal it. He can. That's an uncurable disease my mom had, and it is gone by the grace of God. Not because of science, because she wasn't given no medicine to cure this, because there is no medicine, guys. There isn't. They gave her an inhaler for when you can't breathe, just like an asthma person, an inhaler if you can't breathe. That don't heal asthma, don't heal emphysema. God healed her lungs. You've got to understand that. I love you all and keep your heads up because it's really hard in this world. Um, every day in 2020 has been a new journey for everyone. It's, it's been one of the craziest years of my 32 years of existence. And yours too, no matter your age, it has to be. This has been a crazy year. And it's almost like, what's next? What's next? Uh, let's quit worrying about it. Because that word I said, fear, false evidence, appearing real. Tomorrow's never promised. You got to think about that. When you go to bed, see tomorrow, you can't guarantee that. But don't make that make you fear. Don't. Unless you haven't got right with God, then you need to get right with him tonight. Because if you don't wake up tomorrow, you're going to wish that you did make it right with him. I'm not saying that I'm right or I, I don't know where I'm going. None of us do. I just know that I give myself to the Lord before anyone. And a lot of miracles have worked through my life doing that. In a short amount of time, a lot of things are moving fast for me. So God bless you guys. Keep your heads up, and I love you all. We're all children of Christ if we submit ourselves to Christ.